There was only 11,000 expended, to the best of my recollection, on the report that Christie had for the year end 2017 for Article 44. Okay. And, but I understand that subsequent to that, purchase orders were signed. Yep. What for? And how much money? And I, I, I feel left kind of hanging. I don't know whether you folks got. No, they, uh, they brought them in uh, back, I believe, in January or February. Uh, oh, okay, that's why. I so don't it was know. long before you were yeah. back here uh, to finish up. We got the one from uh, from Unitil. We still needed to get the ones from Fairpoint, or it's now. Okay. Consolidated. Consolidated now. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, telephone company the, and uh, the couple of telephone company, company and the couple. Okay, so this companies. is utilities that were <clears throat> compensated. They, that was for them to work on the plan for the prime, the, for the preliminary designs. Right. To come back with. Right. So that's what that money has been used for. Right. I think about two hundred thousand of the three hundred thousand has been expended. Okay. And the I seem to recall the. Uh, experienced Hampton giving a check. Yeah, Did they gave a check of thirty thousand dollars. Right. So that is. So that was their part portion. Right. They they were doing ten percent. Okay. Of what of what the uh, what the amount was. So we got the. We don't have the part, we don't the only part we have back right now is right. the part from Unitel. We're still waiting on the other right. parts. Unitel had to do their work first because of the number of lines they have, uh, and that will sort of. Set the assist stage. the other utilities on where to go. Mm -hmm. They they provided four different plans for us. I remember that. So and I can't find the copy that I had, and I think so Fred said he only had one. Copy. Unitil had I to got one someplace. I just haven't found. Can it we ask Unitil for a copy for each of us again to refresh our? Oh, memory? we have a copy someplace. Yes, we'll do that. Yes, we can get a copy yeah, of the Unitil right. plan, but we're still waiting yeah. for the ones from right. the, the other utilities. The, the other utilities that are on right. the polls. To find out and what the cost. Before we make a decision on of which we're way we're going to go. Do. Correct. Actually, yeah. there's no decision for us to make. The only the warrant article allowed us to pay the cost uh, with a 10 percent donation from Experience Hampton to mm -hmm. pay the cost of having the utilities draw up the plans. Right. That's it. That's all it does. Nothing right. else. Right. Anything else has to go through another warrant article to town meeting. Nothing else is going to happen until town meeting votes. Okay, so we're just going to get the reports. Right. And then what relevance does this have to Article 9 this year? It doesn't. It doesn't? <coughs> if Article 44, if town meeting were to appropriate the funds for Article 44 and Article 44's designs were actually constructed, um, then some of the information in Article 9 would not have to be done, or if it weren't constructed, some of it would have to be done. Um, there's a contingency in there because of the, if the lines have to be moved and they're underground, there'd be no street lights. So we had to provide a contingency for street lights. That's why you have, and we tried to designate it as something different because street lights for a public utility is completely different than street, private street lights for a town. So we, we put a different title in there, which doesn't mean anything. Um, just so we would know that that particular type of design was underground utility for the town only. That's the aluminum that we have to put up. But we're so not those like, huge poles or huge aluminum towers that the utility companies use. Well. <laughs> it gets kind of sophisticated after a while. Yeah. But, we have uh, a challenge here. It's, we had to provide the contingency. If the, if the lines are moved underground, we had two choices. We could either <clears throat> have giant aluminum poles erected down the length of the street, which are not very attractive, uh, and we would be responsible for their maintenance because it's street lighting. So we'd have to pay if the poles had to be replaced. Um, and that would be part of our cost because of the amortization requirement. Or we could put smaller lights in that we own. And that would be easier because we can maintain those with our staff and our equipment as opposed to these things that are 40 feet in the air. And, and, feet. and Fred, we talked about, when we talked about this, we, we equated it to similar to the lights that are on Highland Ave. The Highland lights that are and Church, Church and, and A and B Street. A and B Street. Right. So, um, that we put in down there that we now own. And so the 
the utilities don't charge us for those lights on those streets right. anymore. Right. We own them. We only pay for the power to run, as opposed to renting those for 30 years. I, I think a lot of this was not made. I looked on Article 44 more as a, um, you know, working on the actual Route 1. It didn't seem to me to be just lighting. It's only part of it. It's, what they're talking about here is the Article 44 is to underground all of the utilities from High Street mm -hmm. all the way down to Winnicott Road. That There'd be no poles, no wires, no nothing. That wasn't made clear in the article. Well, it just said lighting. That was the. It didn't that, even say ornamental lighting. No, Article 44 was to underground utilities. Um, gee, I didn't bring my. Now the petition of experience, Hampton, at least 25, etc. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of three hundred thousand dollars for the limit preliminary design services? for the reconstruction of Lafayette Road from the area near the intersection of High Street south toward Winnicott Road. Design services would include street, sidewalk, utility, and lighting improvements for the downtown Hampton Village in an effort to revitalize the downtown. The preliminary design would be used to support a future project that has the potential to be funded by the Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund created under Article 16 of the, eight, of the 98 town meeting in accordance with RSA 35 for the purpose of maintenance and reconstruction of streets, set appropriation to be offset by a donation from Experience Hampton, estimated to be uh, no less than $30,000. The article is contingent upon the donation of not less than $30,000 uh, and the donation's acceptance by the Board of Selectmen. The explanation of the article and all the meetings that circulated with the article was that the, the intent of the article was to underground the electric utility services on Lafayette Road from Winnicott to High Street. Or go in the back of the buildings. Or go in behind going, the buildings right. or down the, down the that's railroad. That's why we have a couple of uh, yeah. some other oh, places. That wasn't stated in the Warren article. But the main yeah. point. It was no. brought up over and over again, though. Right. The, main, not, the main point was I that it's a preliminary it. design, right? Right. right. It's it not was. action. Nobody's <laughs> taken any action. That's right. It's a no. preliminary design. Right. Under a Warren article, it was approved. Right. Correct. It was discussed, unbelievable. And, you know, at, I think at the beginning it more or less just kind of set underground, but then as it got discussed, as because it went over a long period of time, yeah, it was about going behind the buildings because it probably was going to be cheaper. So, you know. That's why we have a couple of options from Unit yeah. to but your, allow us to do that. Your average voter voting on that article didn't get this picture and I confess well, I they voted for it I I and know but I don't believe if if the average voter and, and I'm not a wizard here just reading the context of the article it was related to route one from High Street down to Winnicott didn't but say anything about lights in the Bill parking Bean lot led the um, charge to that you know that there was it was considered that this was just too much money to spend and that's how it all of a sudden everything started to uh, change a little bit. The fact of the matter is also that Warren articles are very confusing. Yeah. It's it can very be confusing funny. for a lot of people and if you yeah. don't look into the history right. of how it came about and what it's mm -hmm. describing then you're not going to know what you're voting on. So that's that's the voters responsibility to know what they're voting on. Correct. Not, I mean it's, it's been voted on, it's been approved, we can't go back and, uh, and approve it. And they're always, you're, they're just as confusing afterwards. That's yeah. the worst part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I so. just, yeah, I, I, uh, I have a clearer understanding now, thank you, but I confess that I didn't hang on every word at every meeting, you know, unless you're. Well, apparently a lot of folks did because it only passed by 71 votes. Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't a landslide, but it was in favor. I have a question about that because I have some, had some questions as far as this $300,000 go, which. I mean, completely, it's, we're not done with the study yet. We're still waiting on pieces. Yeah. So do you think maybe by maybe the end of April or May we'll probably have a total picture of what actually got spent out of that? It should be approximately $200,000. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Because we do have committed costs for that. Right. Okay. And we do have contracts for it. And, and I'm assuming that when this is all done and the final drawings are in and everything's there, that we'll be coming back to the board and saying, we want to prorate the money because this is a contribution plus an appropriation so that uh, 
ten percent of the two hundred thousand dollars that we return to experience Hampton, and the balance were going to the Treasury. Ten percent of the thirty. Oh, because they paid to ten percent of the thirty thousand. Right. They paid ten percent of the three hundred thousand. Yes, which, yeah. which right. is thirty thousand. Right. Right. And if we only so spend you pro rate the, thir the right. thirty thousand. My point exactly. Right. So we're just we're so we're, we're just, just sitting here taking up space until we get all the of the utilities reports right and well that clarifies it considerably i i appreciate that and then we will uh as the town manager said we'll, we'll get all those in we'll bring them together and then at some point we'll have to have a warrant i think do, somebody's probably going to petition to do something right the town but i'll have to make a decision i would think that they're probably looking for us for some guidance of which way we should go well, I, I suspect so. that's true and i think so that uh once once we get it all back i think we'll have some discussion on that oh yeah but then it's going to be another warrant article to move forward with that's correct <laughs> yeah. So. yeah yeah so. well i just I, I appreciate it and i'm sure the public appreciates the clarification because i was a little puzzled 